Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Kevin Rogerson. If you don't know me, I am a certified health coach with Optinia. And I got a couple of friends that I know pretty well with me. Uh, we're going to do a little Google Tracker training. Uh, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves and then we're going to get started. Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Bard and I'm also a certified Optivia coach and I am really pumped to come to you guys tonight with Kevin and Kristen to talk to you about the tracker which has been a game changer for me and my business. Um, so I'm hoping um, this won't be a long training, just a brief little guide to show you what's possible with the tracker. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And our other friend, Ms. Kristen. Hey guys, my name's Kristen Balovich. I'm also a certified health coach with Optavia. Um, I will tell you when it comes to the tracker, if you need structure in your life and you need in, something to keep you streamlined, the tracker is the way to go. Um, I need structure. Um, I'm, it's what fuels me. So um, it will definitely help you streamline, keep you on task so you don't forget anything or forget anyone. So I'm excited for this training. Sweet. Thanks, y'all. Um, this is going to be a real like overview. So this is not going to be deep in details. We just want to show you what's possible with the Google Tracker. Um, so if it's a tool that you want to utilize, and we would encourage you to utilize it, reach out to your business coach and ask them for some help trying to get set up and get started with your Google Tracker. So I'm going to jump right in and just pull up the web page and show you what it looks like. Um, so if you have not seen the Google Tracker document, this is what it looks like. This is the master tracker, so you, you will have to make a copy of this, and I'll show you how to do that. And then at the bottom, you'll see there's different tabs to help you kind of track your business. Everything from the candidate list that you have all the way to once you bring on coaches, you can track them and know what to give them information-wise. Most importantly, you have to make your own. So you'll go up to File and do Make a Copy. Once you entitle this however you want, I'm going to do Kevin's Demo Tracker. Um, you will be able to completely edit this document. So you click OK. It'll make another tab for you. So then you have access to your own Google Tracker. As you can see, the name has changed. And it has all the same tabs at the bottom once it finished loading. Um, and then we're going to go from there and let Lindsay talk about um, something. But anyway, at the bottom, so candidate list all the way through Google Tracker. It copies everything for you when you make a copy. So. Uh, Lindsay's going to talk a little bit about a uh, technique that we um, use, but also how she came around to using the Google Tracker for a second, and then we'll jump back into this. Okay, guys. So this is something that Kevin brought to my attention. It's called Feel, Felt, Found. The three Fs. So <laughs> <laughs> what happened was um, my business was kind of going in a circle. And I was like, what, what's going on? What am I missing? What, what's happening here? How can I do better? Um, I was lacking a little bit of structure and I was speaking with one of my mentors and she asked me if I used a tracker. Crickets for a minute because I knew I hadn't been using it. Um, but when the tracker first came out, I looked at it and I was like, I do not know how to use a Google document. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what they're talking about. This is too many rows, too many columns, mind blown. I felt like it was too much for me. Um, and when that happened, I didn't pass it down to my team and at least give them the option of seeing if their brain works with this structure or if their brain goes in a different way. So everybody's brain works differently. And, um, Guilty, I was running my entire business on my phone off of my notes app. You know how you like go in and make a grocery list? Yeah, I was running my whole business like that or out of my brain. It wasn't working, but I didn't know it wasn't working until somebody pointed it out. So I felt like it was too much. And then I realized I needed more. I found out it really wasn't. And it was an answer to a lot of things that I was missing within my business. I just didn't know what I didn't know. So feel felt found. That was a big eye opener for me. Thank you, Kevin, for that. All right, we have a candidate, candidate list. All right. Yes. Is, okay. <laughs> All the tabs are important, guys, but this is probably my favorite part because this is what was like a big slap in the face to me. Um, you'll hear us say sometimes the freedom is in the follow up. So I really want you, when you look at this page, I want, to, um, want you to key into that. So, the candidate list, obviously you put your names, you know, who's on your heart, who do you want to help? Um, yeah, John Doe. 
Who has reached out to you? Who is your contact list? Who has commented on a post? Anybody who is on your heart to help or anyone that has commented or if somebody's done a share post, how do you know them? Okay, let's say John Doe shared his story for me and he had 45 comments. They need to be in this candidate list. Thank you, because if you can remember 45 people off the top of your head, you're spot on. This brain doesn't do it. Um, so John Doe shared my information. Is he my Facebook friend? If he's not, he needs to be real fast. He needs to be. Um, notes. Does John Doe, I'm not going to say he needs a breast, the breastfeeding program because John Doe probably doesn't, but, you know, notes about him. Do I know him, <clears throat> you know, say it was a different way that I came about John Doe. Do I know him from my dad's work or from my sister's nail salon? What, you know, how, how do you know these people? Um, Okay, date you liked and commented on their post. <laughs> I had no clue. So I went back to my notes app and the like 40 people I had in here, I had not commented on their Facebook or worked with intention with them for like months. It was pitiful, guys. So this triggers you. You can type in when you commented. And again, we want to be authentic, but it reminds you, oh, I need to work with intention so I can help these people. Um, and then you can see the rest of the options. Did you start a conversation, a private message? Um, did they talk back to you? Um, and guys, every conversation isn't going to be about help. But if help does come up, there you go. There it is. And did you move to a health assessment? So you can keep going down the line to see all these things. Um, and I'm like trying to do it on my computer, Kevin. Follow up, touch points. Let's say you do a health assessment with John Doe and you follow up in two days. Okay, he's still not ready. So when's your follow up? Is it follow up Friday? You can record it here so you can remember, oh, I followed up zero times with John Doe or I followed up three times with John Doe. And that helps you see the freedom is in the follow up because if you're not following up, you're missing people that you can help. <laughs> I didn't know before the tracker. Right. I was clueless on my follow-up. There was no structure there. So that's why this candidate list really helped me with my business structure and making sure I reach back to people who want help. Um, is that it, Kevin, for the... Yes. That's okay, awesome. cool. Um, yeah. And the cool thing about this Google tracker, and thank you, Lindsay, for sharing that about uh, the feel, felt, found. I think that's such a huge... I think not with just the tracker, but it, anything in our business um, that someone has an objection to or kind of might have a concept about, we can always explore that because as health coaches, you, you know, if you haven't been there yet, you have a business coach that's been there. So someone can always identify with that. The cool thing about the way the tracker's laid out as well is so you have John Doe and Lindsay went through all these things that you, you know, he shared your transformation, all this stuff. You got some people popping off and want to know some information. You don't know what to say. Guess what? auto responses, boom, next tab. So I'm not going to go through all these, but if you are the type of person that are like, you start like word vomiting and you're, you're oversharing or you get in a situation where you get like stage fright because somebody wants some information and you don't want to mess up. These are great things here to give you examples of what to say to people. Now I encourage you to look these over and make it work for you and make it sound like something you would say. Don't be robotic, you know, um, we want to be authentic. And the thing about this is it gives you just an example of like, what would I say? Okay, I can read this and say, I'm so glad you asked what I'm doing. I would love to share. I'm probably not going to throw the heart in there because <clears throat> I'm not, you know, I'm not going to connect with somebody with a heart probably. But I would say the same types of things. And we can we hop on the phone for 10 or 15 minutes. I can find out your current health and what you're looking to accomplish. That's all you've got to say. You don't have to say, oh my goodness, I can't wait to share with you because I lost 66 pounds in three and a half months and this is the best program ever and it's so simple and my kids even eat some of the bars and I was a nurse and I came home and blah, 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 blah. You know, like that is like, ooh, overload for somebody that's just really trying to figure out. So you look here and then make it your own. I think that's an important thing about it. There's a lot of information on this tab. You can have hesitant clients, follow up. <clears throat> uh, thanks for liking my post. You know, this is something that we used to teach about a lot and we've kind of gotten away from it, I think, in some of the trainings. But think about when you post your transformation picture and you get, <clears throat> you get two comments and you get 45 reactions or likes. Please follow up with the reactions. 
those people are celebrating you on your journey. If you don't do anything but follow up with that person and thank them for encouraging you on your journey, that is starting a conversation. Boom. That person may be scared to comment on your post. So don't forget these types of things because they're powerful. <clears throat> and then, you know, we love some Zoom calls. We're on a Zoom call now. Woo -woo. So how do you get your clients on a Zoom call? They don't know what a Zoom call is. They're like, what, what just happened? I got invited to a Zoom call. What is that? Okay, here's the instructions for the Zoom call. Bam, you send that to them. Plug your Zoom call number in. So you make it super simple for them. Here's another responses to use when follow-up. Um, ask the question to continue the conversation. Explore health coaching, blah, blah, blah. You see everything has a title to it. So it makes it very simple. Week one, one month, three months. <clears throat> it just makes it very systematic for you. So um, you don't have to think about it. And how do you know how far it's been into talking to that person? You go back to your candidate list because everything's listed. When's the last time I talked to this person? <clears throat> uh, Nobody expects you to like go on your calendar and put three months from now, reminder, um, follow up with John Doe because that would be like, you'd lose your mind. But you can go back in your candidate list and where you put the date where you talk to them and see. Um, and then this is you know, stuff to invite them to our Zoom trainings, um, troubleshooting with your client. You, this is a great way if your client's on day six and they don't know, uh, I, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to, I don't know what's happening, boom, drop this message in there. They can look over the stuff, review it, identify if there's any things they're having problems with. Guess what, if it's day six and they starving, they probably are not in fat burn. So we have to try and figure that out, right? Um, and you can, because they can answer some simple questions here. And then once again, the disclaimers for our photos. So there, everything's in here. Um, and it's very, it's all in one place. And I know it looks like a lot of information. Use this as you need this. This is not something that you have to like study right now. You know, come here and find it. Uh, keeping it moving straight to the client tracker. So this is once your candidate here, you did some auto responses and they decided to sign up. So guess what? John Doe decided he is ready to try this program. So here you put John Doe in your client's uh, list now. And this is gonna give you step-by-step -step, like checklist basically. Okay, did I send my first message? Did I send my day before message? Did I send my day one message and talk to him all the way through day eight? Ask yourself, is the client a coach candidate? Boom, if they are, awesome, put yes. What's next? Tip call with your FIBIC, boom, schedule it. Here's the outline. Everything's right here. So if you've ever had a situation where you're like, oh my goodness, Chris Malovich, this person is like tearing it up and I cannot wait to do this tip call, but um, where do I find that information at? Oh, it's right here in your, in your Google tracker. So, it's, so everything's mapped out for you. So you can send the information to them. You can have the outline for you. Kristen's going to get there and rock the tip call with you, but you can follow it. So you're learning the process. And that's why it's so important here. You're picking these skills up so then you can pass them on. This right here puts all the skills you need on paper in one place. So there's no trying to find it on simple systems, trying to find it in Optavia, uh, coach answers and look in the document library. Boom. Everything's right here. And you can just checklist this and keep it moving. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Cause like I said, we don't want to spend a lot of time here. The details are going to be um, something you map out on your own or with your business coach. So Kristen is going to come on now and talk about our daily messages. Oh, you muted. Hold on. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. So, you know, when you um, have done a share call and they've said they're ready to go, they're ready to get their, their um, order in, get going. You know, we, got, we already start sending mess messages, getting them ready for their box to arrive, telling them when their box is going to arrive. So all of those messages are going to be found here, the first, second, third, and fourth. Now, I will say this, make sure you read them before you send them because there are blanks in them. You don't want to look like you don't know what you're doing and just send a, oh, your uh, pro program arrives on blank. <laughs> so make sure you fill those blanks in. Also, too, you're going to want to tweak them to sound like you. So if you go back up or go down to the day one message, it says, you know, you're going to rock this. That doesn't sound like me. I'm not going to tell someone they're going to rock this. So 
make it sound like you be authentic you know you can tweak them as long as you have the main points of these you know like the videos and the things like that in these daily messages you can copy paste and then tweak as you know, you see fit as far, you know, making it sound like you, making it sound authentic. So it has all of the day one through eight messages on here. And then if you scroll past the day eight, you're going to see you start into week two, week three, week four. So it goes all the way to week 12, guys. So if you're, you know, you have a, a video and, you know, tips to send your clients every week. We have week check-ins. You need to be checking in with your clients at least every week, making sure they're still in fat burn. They're still feeling good. They're still losing weight that we don't need to tweak something. They started working out and you didn't know it. You need to be checking in with them, know what your clients are doing. And this can be like a opening text message, you know, something to spark a message. Hey, here's your, it's week three. Here's your tips, your, your little video about week three. Let me know when you've watched it. They send you a message, watched it. Great. What'd you think about it? You know, it, it gets, so that way you're not, how are you? How are you your week? How are you doing? Not the same thing every single week. That kind of gets redundant and it doesn't seem like you really care. You're just checking off a box that you checked in with them. Um, so just be real and be you and show them that you care. Um, but all of all of the messages that you would need, you know, it'll even have, you know, your how to exercise on the five and one, how to update their order, how to the referral program, all of these things um, that are in your daily um, message app or, you know, app. I guess it is it's Apple, my phone, because I saved it on my phone, but it's all in also your Google tracker. If you need it, everything streamlined to one thing and not have something in notes, like Lindsay said, and something on an app and something here, something there, this has everything you need all in one spot. So just make sure you read them because you don't want to send a blank. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> no, please don't send blanks. Um, and you know what happens when you uh, do what Kristen said and you, you send your daily messages, you follow up with your clients, you're sending them those videos. Guess what they become? A coach. So guess what the last tab is? The coach tracker. So guess what? Kristen rocked it and John Doe is like, oh, I love this program. It's amazing. I got like 20 people that already want to do it. So um, probably not 20, but you know what I mean. <laughs> He's got somebody that wants to do it. Um, so this is what you do. You plug them in. Here's their coach start date. Here's their cab expiration date. Why is that important? You want to know when their 30 days is up because for new coaches, it's not a month. It's a rolling 30 days. So it's important to know their cab because they may, they may, um, they may not hit senior coach and get deflated, but then they still have time because the next month has arrived and they still got 30 days to hit their cab. So that's a huge bonus for people if they start coaching the last couple of weeks of the month and they don't get senior, it's okay, but, you know, this is another motivator. So anyway, then put everything in, what do I do? Um, this is copy from the master, so make sure, like Kristen said, you're reading these, because this is for the green Zoom room, and you're not gonna invite them to the green Zoom room for the new coach kickoff, because we don't have that right now. So uh, it's important to read all these things. This goes all the way through, you did the first health assessment with them, um, like there's lots of information here, so don't get overwhelmed by it. Take this as you need it. You know, uh, what you'll do is once John Doe has gotten the video from JC Dornick to follow up, if they're not ready, what's next? Introduce the binder system. Let's stop here for one second too, while we're saying this, the Google tracker is an awesome, awesome tool. It's not the only tool you have the binder system. If you prefer the binder system, use the binder system. What we're trying, yeah, Kristen's got it right there. What we're trying to show you with this is it is structure. And I can tell you from being a coach for going on three years, you absolutely need structure. You just have to find what structure works for you and that you can then duplicate that structure in your business. And that is, that's freedom. So if you don't love the Google tracker, it's not a sin. However, the Google tracker is awesome. Okay, so just wanted a little brief moment to take out to that. So roll through that first client into fat burn and celebrate. You're doing this with your new coaches, right? So that's why everything's in here for you to make sure you've done these things. They get their cab. You're moving them towards from senior to ED. They get certified. Boom. They're, they're taking off. They're soaring. And you help them do all those things. And you weren't nervous about what was next because you have everything right here. You're not freaking out and reaching up your um, upline because you don't know what to do. 
sure, you can reach up your upline or your business mentor or whatever for help because they'd love to help you. But when you have this, you know what's next. So that's not necessarily what you need. You just need to build skills. Okay. So closing this down, I want to show you before we stop this, um, you can get the Google tracker like uh, Kristen was talking about on your phone. If you have an Apple iPhone, which a lot of people do, there's an app called Google Sheets. You download that, you log in with your Google account and it pops your tracker up. Everything you update on your computer, I'm gonna stop share for a minute. Everything you update on your computer goes into your phone automatically. So it's, it's unified. It's updated through the internet automatically. So it's a pretty awesome thing that you don't have to worry about, you know, updating in two places and worrying about the stuff getting uh, jacked up in between. Everything flows over. Um, once you download the app on your phone, then once said, you just log in and boom, everything's there. So that's it. That's the, that's the training. Google tracker is awesome. Uh, Kristen, Lindsay, anything either you want to add before we close out? I really like the app on my phone because, you know, we can work from anywhere. You don't have to have your computer. You can just go right to your phone, do whatever you need to do. And I, that has been another piece that really helped me. I don't know how I survive without that on my phone. I really don't. Um, but like Kevin said, and you'll hear all the coaches say it all the time, structure really, really is the key to your business um, and to growing a business and to having a smart business that you can pass down the skills to everyone under you. Um, well, you'll probably hear it a million more times, but that's why we make these trainings. So you guys can, um, you know, see faces that you recognize and fully understand why we're trying to pass on things of value. So you can grow and your teams can grow. Um, I, you know, I held up my binder. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a binder person. Okay. I, I, I use my binder. Um, I'm honest when I say, do I use Google Tracker? For some things, like definitely my coach tracker, I, I have to use it for coach tracker. So I know that I'm starting off my coaches strong. Um, but for my clients, I use my binder. Um, whatever path works best for you is what you need to do. But we, you know, when you're ready to grow your business, get with your business coach, get with your mentor. We can help put together a, a place of structure, find which structure works best for you. But I can tell you that if you don't find the structural piece that works for you, things are going to get forgotten. There's no way you're going to remember that you talked to John Doe two months ago that wasn't quite ready and what the conversation was about, what his health assessment was, what all the things that, you know, he didn't like his job or whatever the things, the pieces that you need to remember, there's no way you're going to remember it just in this. So you have to find whatever structural piece is going to work for you, whether it be a binder or whether it be the Google tracker. But I can tell you, if you are a computer person and you need everything laid out for you in front of you in one spot, the Google tracker is the way to go. I am a, in many spots, but it's what works for me. Um, it doesn't work for everyone. Um, but find the structural piece, get with your business coach, talk about, talk to your mentor and your business coach about structure, which one might work best for you so they can help map it out for you. That's it. Awesome. I, I believe fully in everything that they both said. And it's, it's great stuff. Um, the Google tracker is not necessary, is not an Optavia document. It's not something that's done company wide. Um, but we do like to do it and we've been taught it and we want to teach it to y'all because we want you to have that option. Um, so once again, like Kristen and Lindsay said, uh, if it's something that works for you, great. If not, it's okay. Just reach out, find some structure. We can help you create structure in some way. So once you start, grow in your business and you go from five clients that I could run with the back of my hand to 25 clients and I forgot to send a daily message. You don't want that to happen in your business and you can prevent it by being in structure. So that's what in structure is. And I naturally resist structure. So I get it. I hate structure. Structure tries to run my life, but I will tell you without structure, it's chaos. So find structure and lean into it. And that's all we got. That's it, guys. Thanks, Thanks for guys. taking the time. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Kristen. Thanks, guys. Bye.